guys welcome back to my channel and today i am like super excited because we get to do our first paycheck budget of january 2022 the first paycheck budget of the year i am paid bi-weekly and i do use a like a budget by paycheck um type system um if you don't already know me my name is tina i'm a cash budgeter and i do a lot of budgeting videos planner videos i review like handbags and all that stuff like that so i do a lot of things like i've just recently started like saying all the things yeah don't know why okay and then also we're going to do our cashless sinking fund stuffing and then i am going to stuff one of my challenges because I sell a wallet on the facebook yard sale page so like i said every little bit that i get i'm going to try to save it because this year i am like trying to be like up on my savings all right so um if you have not already joined the family i'm gonna throw that in there be sure to click on the subscribe button guys and then also click on the notification bell to make sure that you don't miss any of these videos and without further ado guys let's go ahead hop in and get into this video so we always do our wellness card we've started that so we are going to pick a card from the box hopefully this right here starts your day your morning or if your day's already started um if you do watch this this kind of you know what i'm saying kind of lift it up a little bit all right wake up early to watch the sunrise and the sunrise is like super pretty so you know it's little stuff like that can get you going and can change your day all right so we have already done our wellness in a box so let's go ahead and get started all right so we are actually going to go to january and we are going to go to our first paycheck budget and it's too far okay so this is what we're looking at i'm gonna see if i can kind of zoom in a little bit because i want you guys to be able to see because my handwriting is not the best all right so i did kind of fill some of this out just to save time um, payday is 01722 and weeks are 010722 and 01 to 2022. What I do is I always make sure I stop the payday before. Um, so if you're just starting, this is something you may try because the day that I get paid is next is the 21st. So this bill here will be taken out of this paycheck and not this paycheck. So everything from the 21st on down will be taken out of that check and then it will roll over to the next month. I'll just keep it in my checking account. And then so the bills that I have before I get paid before my next payday, which would be, I know I have this little thing. This little thing is like so helpful. Like I'm super excited that I actually did this. Okay, so the next payday would be the fourth. So I need to make sure that I have enough money saved in my checking account as like the buffer, which is the money left over after you do your zero base budget. Um, I need to make sure I have enough money for the bills that are coming before the fourth. So that's how I kind of figure that one out. Hopefully the way I explained it, um, it was easy for you guys to understand okay all right so um we are actually going i'm going to tell you guys about my target payment um also i know this is not a debt video but i'm going to um school you when we get to target okay all right so income we um we always just put it all together so this is just the income the the money um that my husband gives me that we all just put it all together and then so that way because if i'm like separating it all it's like i always tell you guys it's like too much and i'm not trying to do too much not trying to do too much all right so this is just the extra cash um that i have right, and then we have rollover so i had budgeted i'm actually going to i'm not going to fight it this time i'm actually going to take this page out <laughs> and do it this way all right so income i have budgeted for 2220 the extra cash is basically remember i took a hundred dollars um, i'll link the video up here um a hundred dollars for the road bill because i want to try to get a month ahead so that's what the hundred dollars of this is and then i will link the other video um when i talk to you about the, the target bill um my payment um that was 572 and that, and that was the money that i had for my 52 weeks that i saved for 2021 so i'd use um half of that to pay um down my target credit card and then the hundred dollars that i took out of the utility envelope um for my sinking funds i used that to get a month ahead on my water bill because that is one of um our goals all right so right. rollover is 149.20 so that is the money buffer that is left over in the checking account from the last paycheck budget all right so the actual 
totals was 2,956, which wasn't bad. Um, extra cash, which is the same thing, $672. And then the rollover was 149.20. So let's go ahead, let me get my calculator here. So let's go ahead and add that up. So we got 2220672149.20. All right, so that gave us a total of 3,100. 3,000, I'm tripping, 100. Yeah, $3,041.20. I'm not sure where I got, I was going like 100. All right, so let's go ahead and add up our income for um, actual. So we got 2,956 plus 672 plus 149.20. All right, so that'll give us $3,777.20. All of those sevens. Okay. All right, so I'm going to stick this to the side. All right, so um, basically where I get all the, um, this is like a real time where when I actually go online and I pay it, I go back to this and then I say, hey, I paid $150, check it off, and then I do $12.99, check it off. Um, I do it like a lot of times I do it here. I do it on this sheet here, and then I also do it on my monthly calendar. I just do it because I seriously do not want a late fee. So that's why I make sure, and then I also have it on my watch. So that's why I make sure that I like have it there a lot of times so to remind myself like, hey, you have a bill or go ahead and pay this because those $35 fees or even if it's like 10 or $6, that stuff adds up. So basically a good way is to just do it so that you remind yourself to make sure that you pay it. And that way you won't be short because if you might say, hey, I got this extra money and then you spend it. And then like two days later, you're like, wait a minute. <laughs> And now I know why I had that extra money. I need to pay my light bill. So you don't want to end up doing that. So that's why I make sure that I go ahead and I take it out of my account so that what I have left is what I have to work with. Or if something happens, I can take that from there and I know what is going on. Okay. All right. So for um, daycare, the actual pay was $150. For the daycare, I write the day that is actually due. But I just leave the amount in our checking account so that when I need to write the check, because I write it on the exact on the exact day that is due so it won't get confused because it's like 150 150 150 and that can get pretty confusing so that's no overage or no shortage date paid was the first all right so we got um, Amazon Prime this is basically an automatic payment and you guys know that I did make an envelope for this because I want to pay it annually instead of paying it every month because I'll have a savings of like $36 and I think it was like 88 cents which makes sense to you know what I'm saying? Do that. So actual is $12.99. So no overage or shortage. So that came out on the second. I am going to go ahead and start. All right, so we got three, seven, seven. Y'all, these sevens, three, seven. Let me make sure I got the okay, 20 cents. These sevens are crazy. All right, so we got $150. All right, so that's $3,627.20. So we're minus in $12.99. So we got $3,614.21. Geico, that is 108, paid the exact amount. So that is the second. Um, and then, like I said, the payday was the seven. This was part of money that I had left over from the last paycheck budget from my buffer. So that's how I'm able to pay. So that's why I stress make sure that you have enough left over before the next paycheck. Or if you can get money into your account before the next paycheck. Um, if you do like side hustles or if you, you know what I'm saying, sell some things. Just, you know what I'm saying, just make your life easier. Okay, so for Wells Fargo, um, we actually did $80. So that's an overage of four bucks that I paid. So that one, I did do that on the fourth. Um, so we got 3614 So we're minus in the 108 um, So that's 3500 hundred and six dollars and 21 cents i don't know what i'm doing with my numbers okay so mine is the 80 dollars so three thousand four hundred twenty six dollars and 21 cents so daycare here we have 150 the money was sitting in the account no overture shortage that was the seventh so we're going to subtract the 150 so we got three thousand two hundred seventy six dollars and 21 cents so brinks which is an automatic payment that went up like three dollars um, so that was $37.95. So that is zero. So that comes out on the 12th. So we got $37.95. $34.95 for the longest time. So every time I want to write 
$34.95 all the time now. Okay, so AEP, that is $228. The overdue shortage. So um, we have, that one was on the 7th. Because that's when we got paid. Um, so that's $3,010.26. Alright, so Target here. Um, this is where I paid extra. So that's $64 there. So I'm going to add the extra that I paid, the $572 at the end um, on my debt snowball section here all right so zero so that was on the seven and so i'm going to do 64 i'm going to tell you guys about that that right there i was like i mean i got this itch the issue solved but my thing was okay so you remember that i paid um the extra i did it online took it out of my checking account the same checking account that i always pay my target card on um target card off of and so when I go to look, because I wanted to show that this is how much I have um, credit available um, so that it will show on my credit report also. But when I went to go look at it, it would never update like how much credit I have. It will be the same credit um, available that I had before I made the payment. So I waited and waited. I called and she was like, well, it has to um, adjust. She said yeah. the payment has to go through. And I'm like, what do you mean the payment has to go through? I said, y'all already took the $572 out of my checking account. So she was like, yeah, we just have to make sure that the payment is um, um, legit. Not a legit, but I can't remember what the word she said. But she said, I got to make sure that the payment is um, going to be processed or whatever. But I said, you've already taken the money out of my account. I said, if it was going to come back as an ACH, it would have been came back to you guys saying that it was returned. So she was like, yeah, but just wait a couple days and it'll, um, you know, it'll go through process and everything like that so a couple more days still didn't go through so i finally called back the last time i called back i got someone and they said that basically it the system just randomly pick different accounts and i did look online and it did say that sometimes it's because of the large payment that you made is different than the other payments that you make so they're just making sure that it processes and that it goes through but i'm like Hey guys, if it's it's an ACH, everything's if it's electronic, if it hasn't came back in like two days, you think you might want to go ahead and you know update my records. But I did look online and I saw some people say that it's been like a year, two years, months that they have made the payment and they have not um, seen their credit reflect the payment the I mean the available amount. So I'm telling you, this is what I did. So if you have this situation or anything you have to call them so what i did was i called them the lady said that they can do it by verification they would have to get on three-way with you to your bank and you have to call and they have to ask well you have to ask um because she was trying to ask and the lady was like no i have to talk to you know miss peters but um so she asked me um was it okay to let her um know about the information on my account and i was like uh yeah I was like, um, I told a lady, I was like, look, I was like, I'm on a budgeting journey and I need this to update. That's what I told her. And I said, um, y'all don't understand. <laughs> so, um, and all I had to do was just say, um, that we, I said, did the payment for Target go through? And she said, yeah. And then the rep was like, okay, yeah, that's all I needed. And I was like, what? And, and then, so after that, she was like, okay, yeah, so thank you so much for calling um and doing the three-way thing and then soon as i got off the phone with her the junk updated like that she said that if it's a cash payment and if it's a debit card payment that it doesn't do it but i did look online a lot of people said that they didn't understand because they took the cash to the target store to pay it and it did the same thing so if you have that situation that would be something i would just go ahead and call and just tell them hey let me go ahead and verify it and so that I can get this shown on my credit report that I have this much credit available. So that's the long spill for my Target card. Y'all, I was, I was, I mean, I know they got their policies and procedure, but I was like a little heated. I was like, y'all didn't already took this money out. What is going on? I told her, I was like, I'm not going to spend it. And she was like, okay, yes, Miss Pierce. I was like, okay. <laughs> All right. So next we have Netflix. So Netflix is $13.99. That is automatic. And you guys know that this does come on my Capital One card. Let it go through and then I pay it off. Um, so no overture shortage. So that is actually on the 14 because that is automatic. So that is $13.99 293 So next we have a daycare, which is $150. There's no overture shortage. So that will be coming out on the 14th. 
So we got 150. Yeah, y'all. Target try to. I don't know. That had me feeling some type of way. I was like kind of upset, but then I was like, all right, Tina, don't even get upset about it. Because it's something that can be fixed. So I don't even worry about it. Cause I because like I said, I'm not gonna, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna use it anyway. So all right, so no a shortage. So this was the seven. So we got 468.44. So two, three, one, three. Um, so Xfinity, um, that's 120. That was on the seven. Yeah, so if you make a large payment, make sure you check it because you'd be like, oh, I made the payment, but then it doesn't reflect in your balance. Okay, so the Woda bill, um, this was actually paid was 190. I'm not gonna add this to my um, credit card debt snowball because it's not actually credit card. This is just how I got a month ahead. So I took it out of my utilities um, sinking funds envelope. And I, so basically this is gonna be like, like two payments. Um, so that's the 190. So we're gonna do 190. And then, so we got zero, so we got, this was on, whoop, whoop, whoop. so I actually did this, I think I did this on the 9th, I think. All right, so we got um, 2003.83. All right, so let's go ahead and add up these columns. So we got 150, 12.99, 108, 76, 150, 37.95, 228, 64, 13.99, 150, 68, 44, 120, and then we got 90. All right, so we got 1,669.37. All right, so we got 150, 1,299, 108, 80, 150, 37, 95, 228, 64, 13, 99, 150, 468, 44, 120, and then we got 190. All right, so we got 1,773.37. All right, so this will be $4, okay? All right, so the amount that we will have here is $2,003.83. That's what we have there. So I can go ahead and put this because I think I'm pretty much done with this sheet here. Okay, all right, I'm going to put my calculator here. Okay, so my cash envelopes, um, I have the cash, but I haven't stuffed, but I do have all of my categories that I need to stuff. But the amount is um, $305, so that's what we're doing here. So um, this, I will do C sheet. So C cash stuffing sheet, because I do the, um, I do the long ones here. So this is the sheet that I have here. Um, so this same thing. So emergency funds, this is where we're gonna do the sinkless um, cash stuffing. Um, basically what your cashless cash stuffing, <laughs> it's got like a tongue twister. Basically, I just use um, fake placeholder money. I like to have a visual, but this is the money that we have in our savings um, account at Ali's Bank. So I just basically use the money holders because I like to have it in my hand and it's just because it's just fun. It's just fun, guys. Okay, so we're going to already um, do that. So for emergency funds, I, I don't know. Look, y'all, I'm like trying to open this up. This is not even an envelope, all right? All right, so for emergency funds, we have 100. All right, so for emergency funds, we have 1,000, 2,000, 500, 6, 7, 8, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 2,900, okay? All right, so we're going to add, and I just got the cash stacked here, so I don't have anything like my cash tray because I don't think I really need it right now. We're just going to add a $50 bill to that and put that there. So that should give us doo -doo -doo, um, 2950 dollars. All right, so that's how much that should give us. Y'all, this play money feels so good. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I'm like rich. Okay, all right, so next is vacation. So vacation always gets thirty dollars. So and like I said, I just put little stickers on this little play money. Um, so we got this. So we have thirty dollars. All right. So we got five hundred, six hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety-seven, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. 55, 60, 62, 63. 
All right, so that'll make us have 760. No, 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 no. No, it'll make us have 733. Yep. I'm about to tear these numbers up. 733, and then plus the $30, and then 763. Like I said, y'all, small amounts, them junks add up, and these were just, these are just like directly deposited. So you need to deposit small numbers before y'all do it. Do it, do it, do it. All right, so next we have 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, um, 70, 80, 90, 405, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then we're going to add $31 to that. These 20s are like super duper duper green, like seriously green. All right, so that'll make us have... 514 and then we add 31 dollars so we should have 545 2 3 20 40 60 80 94 10 20 30 35 40 4 2 3 44 45 so 545 oh 445 look left it in there four yeah so we got 1 2 3 4 20 40 60 80 and 90 500 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 1 for 2, for 3, 44, 45. All right. I remembered what I had. So then I was like, wait a minute, this isn't right. So, all right. So we actually got 545, not 445. Yeah. Because these right here, I just add little amounts and I don't change them a lot. So I do kind of remember what it is. Okay. All right. So that is the end of our cashless sinking funds. So I am going to, I keep moving that money around. All right. So we got. 2900 plus 733 plus 514 so we got 4147 and i didn't do sinking funds because the sinking funds are going to be a part of this here um and then the sinking funds that we did um the other day on the 8th is before um this was money that i paid myself from my side hustle so it wasn't part of my bi-weekly um paycheck all right so we got 50 30 31 and we got 111 all right so we got 2950 763 and then 545 okay all right so this should be 4258 all right so for personal um i had budgeted for us for 300 business 200 so we actually did 400 and then we did 300 all right so that will be 500 i'm going to go ahead and write that down all right, and then this will actually be 700. All right, so target card will be the 572. So um, I'm just going to put the 572 because I did do it before. So that is the 572, and that went to my target card. So that knocked it down a lot, which I was like super excited. That's why I was so pressed for her to fix that. Um, you know what I'm saying? Because I was like, I want it to show on oh, my credit okay two thousand three dollars and eighty three cents so we're going to subtract the 305 305 so that will give us 1698.83 we're going to subtract the 111 from sinking funds so one thousand five hundred eighty seven dollars and eighty three cents right. so we're going to subtract the 700 for the savings and we have eight hundred eighty seven dollars and eighty three cents so we're going to track subtract attract <laughs> not tracked we're going to subtract the target card payment so 572 and that will give us 315.83 now let's go ahead and add this up to see if all this stuff balance so we're going to take our actual paid we're going to take all of our expenses so 177 37 plus 305 plus um 111 plus our 700 plus our 572 so that will give us so three thousand four hundred sixty one dollars and thirty seven cents for all of our expenses so we're going to take our actual income three thousand seven seventy seven all these sevens <laughs> minus the three four six one thirty seven and whoop that adds up guys <laughs> Kind of sweating a little bit because I was like, did I add these things up right? All right, so that is the 31583. So this will be our buffer. Buffer, like I said, again, is the money that you have left in your checking account so that if anything comes in, it covers your butt. 
um, keep you from getting overdraft fees or if you have like overage and groceries you can just basically pull out your debit card and make sure you kind of like track it not kind of like but make sure that you track it and then you can use that as um, the extra to so that way you are not using your credit cards um, but like I said credit cards aren't bad because if you have like the mindset to like you know spend stuff on your credit card and then turn around and pay it off or pay it that that I mean it's no problem at all so uh, I don't I'm not like oh my god don't use a credit card you know what I'm saying but it's got you got to have discipline because there's a lot of people that have discipline with it um I'm I'm there get I'm getting there so but yeah all right so next we're going to do um I do have this money here um this right here was just money that I got from um selling a little wallet off of the Facebook mar marketplace so I told you guys you can make extra cash off the Facebook marketplace you just got to know how to you know know what you're selling okay all right so I am actually going to put that in my ten dollar um challenge so that will go there and then oh all right and then I am actually going to put my ones in my one dollar box so this will go I'm going to take all right so I'm going to take this yeah, my coloring is off the chain this morning. <laughs> off the chain. All right, so I'm just going to put this in my $10 um, challenge. So this will be the $1,000 here. So this goes in there. So like I said, if you have even if you get like an extra $5, like that's extra $5. You just take it and put it wherever you want to save. So that is that. And the $1 in this box, I don't, I don't actually keep up with it. So um, I just put these in there. All right, so that's all we got there. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, all right. All right, guys, so this is the end of my um, paycheck budget video. So hopefully you guys um, enjoy it and then you learn a little bit from it. So if you're just starting off your paycheck budget, um, you know what I'm saying? Let me know if you already done your paycheck budget for this first paycheck of the month because i know some people are already they're already on their second one but um like i said I, we get paid bi-weekly so that's why that's a little bit different so if you have not already hopped over to my instagram it's called a pink cloth life and then also um if you did like this video guys please give it a thumbs up because you know i really 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 do appreciate it and then like i always say until next time guys peace